I think I was supposed to use my ninja vision. Use your ninja vision. Yeah, actually, it's telling me to. Yeah, it, it did. It did that. <laughs> it did that time. <laughs> it did that. Uh, oh god, we should not be doing this. I apologize to anyone that speaks that way. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. That just seems like a really weird thing to say. If you speak in this way that we're implying is offensive, <laughs> like, sorry. Now, anyway, so, so of course I was like, wow, this is a, this is a real departure. These Souls games, they're a real departure from what uh, From Software normally does. And then I found out that they made Enchanted Arms for the 360, which is a JRPG. And uh, I, something else as well. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. And so I... Yeah, that... It, 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 that teleporting is it. not a good thing, in fact. Yeah. Um, but so I decided to just, you know, go look into the company. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing! We <laughs> No, seriously, this is gonna become a game-breaking problem, actually. If this won't stop, um, we're gonna have a serious problem. Like we're you're gonna like I'm gonna have to bring my 360 over. Or well something. maybe we should switch the frame rate to have a maximum frame rate. Cause right now it's variable frame Whoa, rate. Oh, that was my bad. <clears throat> should we change that? Um let me see. No, I, I know we can. Should we? Go into oh, options? I don't know. Yeah. Will PC, that, PC settings. I, I don't know if that'll change anything. Well, it's the only thing I can think of that will change anything. So it's... Uh, frame rate. That one, yeah. And then... Yeah, that. <clears throat> it's the only other option, so it's going to have to be that. Apply changes, I suppose. Hopefully that is it. I don't understand the innards of things like this enough to know why that would fix it? Because it's only, like... <clears throat> because maybe it was, like, processing more frames than it was able to show? Fair enough. Actually, it already feels a little different. So, that may well have been it. Um, God, let's go back to what I was saying. So, I decided to look into them. On, you know, the first place you go to for information, which is Wikipedia. <clears throat> The only place I go for information. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, I've said to many people many times, I'll say it here. Wikipedia is a great place to start uh, research. It should not... should rarely be all of your research. Okay! Fuck you! God damn it! I... okay. <clears throat> the frame rate thing, sure, the game feels a little different. He didn't teleport. I don't remember... The fucking enemies being such a bunch of bitches. <laughs> uh, God, what was I saying? Um, so I went and looked into them. And aside from learning about some other games that I never realized were theirs, like uh, there's a RPG for the GameCube that's theirs. Okay. What was that's, that? Uh, <clears throat> um, Summoner, I believe. Oh. Yeah, like the Summoner games. Oh, wow. Are apparently that. I uh, did that way too early. Okay, do I have to use? Yeah, okay, there. I'll shoot you guys. Well down. done. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. Um, whoa, oh, that works. Do 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 do. I'm Ninja Blade. Net. Are you really? Nope. Because. Uh, I still don't know what the sword itself has to do with anything. Are you actually using the ninja blade right no. now? No. He doesn't have it, does he? He has it, but it... Wait, oh, it's, it's changed. Yeah, it's sheath reappears on it after the sword comes out of him. Dante style. <laughs> Not even joking. Uh... Yeah, fuck off! Light bloom in the background, and the explosion is having fuck tons of light bloom, is making it really hard to tell when the uh, helicopter is actually firing at me. Yeah. Whoops. But it is really pretty. Uh, no, it's not really. Fine. It, it isn't. 
Excessive light bloom is just irritating. Sometimes it's pretty. Yeah, but it's not excessive. Uh, ah! Okay, back to what I was saying. <laughs> I know this is a running gag with me, but seriously, it really does piss me off more than anybody will ever understand that I keep losing my train of thought. Um, looking them up, I learned that From Software actually got their start making Western fantasy style, uh, that is to say Western fantasy setting style dungeon crawling RPGs <laughs> to which the Souls games are effectively modern successors. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Interesting. The, those old RPGs, I believe the Souls games and the uh, <clears throat> and in fact the Armored Core series actually have From Software's fingerprint in game on them in that they have an item they like to put in all the games that's ostensibly the same thing in every game. Mm -hmm. The Moonlight Sword. And I remember when I was reading about it, I was like, oh yeah, I totally know that from Armored Core because the best laser blade in any Armored Core game, any armor, and any Armored Core fan will tell you, is the Moonlight Laser Blade. Mm -hmm. And apparently that's starting with those old you know, dungeon games. Uh... Should, should dodge or dash or just dash or dodge uh, starting with those even they would that would be what this kind of their signature thing was that they'd put a really powerful sword called the moonlight somewhere in the game mm -hmm. and I don't know 100% I don't know for absolute sure if they did that in the Souls games but I imagine that they did it sounds familiar actually they, they actually have another thing that's kind of their stamp in their fantasy games like that mm -hmm. a character and his whole shtick apparently even in the old ones and in the new ones is that he tries to get you to trust him then he's a huge dick <laughs> who like basically tries to kill you or something like wow. apparently in uh, Dark Souls he basically you'll come into this area and he'll be like hey See that hole there? Like, there's fucking treasure down there, but there's, like, you know, monsters and whatnot. We should team up. You go walk up to the hole, and his character will come up behind you and push you into the hole. <laughs> of course, you don't really die as such in Souls games. So, you can always go back to him afterwards and, you know, kill him if you want. <laughs> but, yeah, so I thought that was really interesting. Uh, I really hope they go back to mech games. And not just Armored Core, because one of the things I found out was they have three other mech games. Oh, yeah. That aren't Armored Core. Huh. Uh, the two... I basically see them as three of them as a set, and then one other one as kind of this really kind of funny side thing. Uh, and that's just me. It, I'm sure that it in no way is a reflection of what they were actually thinking with the games. But if you, with Armored Core kind of in the middle, they made Chrome Hounds for the 360. And. Oh, that was them? Yeah. And Murakumo Renegade Mech Pursuit for the original Xbox. And I see those three games as kind of a set. Because they represent, to me anyway, the three sort of extremes. Well, the two extremes and what the kind of middle ground between those two extremes is in terms of mech stuff, where Chrome Hounds is very Western. Right. It's very slow. The mechs don't even have arms at all. Like, no hands, no arms. Guns and such are bolted by framework onto the sides of the mech body. And it's all about strategic placement and proper gun use and whatnot. It's not, you know, it's it's mech warrior, it's not Gundam. It's Austin is probably the best comparison. Murakumo Renegade Mech Pursuit, by contrast, is the other extreme, being having this very Japanese sensibility. The mechs are all brightly colored. They're super fast. They have infinite flight capability. Your enemy, it's called high, you know, uh, 
Murakumo right, yeah, right at Mech Pursuit is a good title for it because like the just the for even just the first stage is you pursuing opposing mechs through the city at like ridiculously high speeds. And you're zipping in between buildings and you know, it's very if you looked at it you would say that oh this is very Japanese in terms of the way the mechs are. And then you've got Armored Core, which is too fast paced and too kind of aerial to be Mech Warrior, but it's still too grounded and too based on like very uh, kind of well, Western ideals where the mechs are heavier. There, you have to worry about the weight. You have to worry about overheating and energy management and whatnot. They're too much of that to be, you know, a Gundam sort of thing. So Armored Cork sort of exists as this in-betweener <clears throat> between Murakumo and uh, Chrome Hounds. Mm -hmm. Then I found out, and this one was kind of funny because I read about it randomly. I, I don't even remember why I was, like how I found my way to this article about it. I found my way to this article about this, this other mech game. And it was mentioned like that it was very rare or you know pretty pretty fucking rare expensive uh the article i seem to recall now that the article actually said that the game wasn't wasn't actually any good uh and at the time i you know not knowing anything about the game i had no real reason to argue about it mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. i kind of just forgot about it for a long time and uh Eventually, I I don't even remember why, but the game kind of came back up into my thought and consciousness. I went and looked into it, and um, damn. <laughs> that had nothing to do with my hand being off the controller.